This is an historic week in Derbyshire. We have built our first brand new secondary school. Real High opened its doors this week and it will accommodate 1,200 pupils um, when it's full. It cost £25 million to build and it was funded in partnership with Welsh Government. At the same time, the extensive refurbishment and expansion of uh, Glancluid School in St Asif is going extremely well. Um, that will uh, cost over £15 million. These are significant investments in secondary education in our county. They will provide 21st century standards um, for thousands of children in Denbyshire for years to come. I think that's a considerable achievement, particularly in the given difficult financial circumstances, and we should all be proud of that. The new Social, Social Services and Wellbeing Act is now in force. Um, it is an important act and it promises to radically change the way we work. The central idea of the Act is that residents are involved, actively involved as partners in devising uh, services and support that they need uh, for uh, their well-being and social care. This will force us to think beyond traditional boundaries and traditional service delivery models and work with others to put together packages of support uh, for residents. In Denbyshire, we have launched sessions called Talking Points, where individual residents can make an appointment, they can go along and meet with uh, professionals, including our staff, to talk about their issues and concerns and look for uh, solutions that they feel um, comfortable with. I don't think we should underestimate how radical this change is, but it's the right way forward. And I'd like all our staff to become more aware of this and encourage residents who may be experiencing well-being issues, whatever that may be, to go along to these and talk to people um, about their issues earlier the better. My final point is about the Welsh language standards. They are now in force um, and I am committed, as I know the rest of the organisation is, to implementing these in full. Not simply because it's the law, but because we are committed as a council to becoming a genuinely bilingual organisation so that all of our services can be delivered to our residents in either language. They're challenging uh, some of these standards, but I think we are responding extremely well uh, as a council so far. There are some new ones to introduce between now and September, and I'm hopeful that we will do that too. So our aim is to deliver the commitment to being a bilingual council, and we are well on our way to doing that, and I think the world standards will help. So I want us all to be behind those standards. Thank you.